Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Sarah Gill. And I'm Jessica Squires. Welcome to HBWN. This week, we will have a feature on a local holiday tradition, as well as taking an inside look at the film Terry. Along with a story on our very own Harbor Choir performing their annual Candlelight Night. Let's get to it. Today is December 8, 2015, and HBWN starts now. Harbor High School is definitely known for being diverse. With its diverse student body, Harbor takes pride in creating various groups where any student can find something they'd fit into. One of those student organizations is Troop 7262, the Drama Club. This past year, Troop 7262 partnered with WeTV to create a film for a recent competition. Here's the story. The Harbor High Film Program is recognized across the country, but its collaboration with the theater department can't go unnoticed. Troop 7262 is our competitive drama troupe that are members of the International Thespian Society. We go to the Arkansas State Thespian Festival and it's the drama competition uh, with all high schools across Arkansas. So, uh, Mr. Sherman and I uh, share a lot of students and so our students will act and produce and edit films and last year we submitted a short film uh, and it was called Terry, and we received a superior, and it got best of show. The success of this film was a humbling experience and gave the students involved a passion to pursue this industry further. I was a paper delivery boy, but I guess Terry captured me somehow. This film was kind of my gateway into film, uh, seeing how it works, seeing what it's like to be honest set in a way. With any film, there are always challenges involved, but for one, the obstacles involved were more of a physical challenge. Um, my role in Terry was to be there for Terry because I was basically his best friend and yeah, I'm just always there for him whenever he needs me. The only obstacles I encountered while filming Terry were, it was really cold. Like, I literally couldn't even say some of my lines because I was shaking, and yikes, that was bad. Building relationships and establishing a culture for learning. That is one of the key pillars for Harbor High School, and we are proud of the work HBTV and the theater department are producing. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. We are here with Kendall King, the main actor in Terry. Kendall, could you please explain to us what Troop 7262 is and how you can become a part of it? Yeah. Troop 7262 is the thespian troop of Harbor. Um, we go to tournaments every few weeks, forensics, and then every year we go to the thespian festival in Russellville. Um, we went last year and we placed first in the video category. And to be a part of it, you have to have 10 thespian points. And how do you get a thespian point is going to a play or a musical or anything, or being a part of the school musical or play, and you just rack them up and get them. As an actor, how do you prepare for your role and get into character? To prepare for a role, I look at all my lines, and I see what I'm trying to say and get across with a certain line. Um, to get into my character, I try and spend a few minutes or maybe half an hour a day trying to get into that character and see what they do in the day. And I just generally try and be that character. I know this year you're in WeTV. What's in the pipeline? What can we expect from you this year? Well, we've got a lot of exciting things coming up. We have E107 coming. That's going to be an exciting one. Um, we're shooting, I think, three videos over this Christmas break. Um, one will have to do with Slender Man. That one's going to be awesome. Um, the next one is actually Terry 2. That'll be awesome. And Camera Warfare 2, Double Exposure. We're about to take a look at Terry. Can you give us a brief synopsis over the film? Um, Terry is just your average Joe, and throughout the film you 
start to see that there's something wrong with him. Um, his neighbor doesn't notice, and his best friend doesn't notice, but I think the audience is going to know that there's something up. Well, there you have it, Wildcats. Thank you for joining us today, Kendall. We can't wait to see what you do in the future in the film and the theater departments here at Harbor. But for right now, let's take a look at Terry. Mighty fine day. Morning, Terry. Hey, we sure have had a lot of uh, paper boys recently, don't you think? They're, they're real nice. Real nice paper boys. All right, well, uh, I'll catch you later, Terry. Sorry, you just look so zoned out. Uh, what, what were you thinking about? I'm just, nothing really, just life. You know, Terry, if you ever want to talk about anything, I'm here. Yeah, I know. Actually, can I, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Have you ever just felt like you've been living for the wrong reasons? What do you mean? I don't know. I. Maybe I just, I feel like I'm so different on the inside and that the world won't accept me for who I really am. How long have we known each other? Since grade school. Exactly. Terry, everyone is different from each other. That's just life. And before others can accept you, you need to accept yourself. And I've known you long enough to say that you're a great person, and you can do whatever you put your mind to. So, just keep your head up, okay? You know what, Sam? What? I don't know where I'd be without you. Can I ask you something now? Yeah, sure. Can we please stop meeting out here? Because it's really cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can. You know what, how about you come to my place tonight for dinner? Okay, that Actually, sounds great. Yeah, cool. I'll cook us up some steaks, you'll be there at seven. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey, I'll be so long for you. Yeah, yeah, the door's open, come in. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just in the basement finishing up some steaks right now. Okay, well, I'll see you. Uh-huh. 
cool. I'll see you in a, a minute. Congratulations to Troop 7262. If you want to see more shorts, be sure to tune in to HBWN every Tuesday. Spoiler alert, We Hear Terry 2 is currently underway. We are going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we will take a look at traditions, both new and old in our community. Stay tuned. HBWN will be right back. 140,000 students claim that they are physically abused at school. 3.2 billion kids are bullied each day. 90% of students from 4th to 10th grade claim that they've been bullied. Only you can prevent bullying. Hi, Travis Sherman here with a fantastic new product. Are you tired of shaky shots? Footage that looks like the B-cam operator from Saving Private Ryan? Boy, do we have a product for you. Introducing this revolutionary new product, the tripod. The three keys to success are great talent, great work ethic, great hair, and tripods. Before I came to Drury University, my life was as shaky as my shots, but now I'm stable. Discover your Drury life with the tripod. Almost one out of every four students are bullied in school each year. But did you know that over half the situations stop if a student peer intervenes? It's time to join together and make a stand. And whether you're an athlete, in the band, or finding your own passion. Stand up, because together, we can make the difference. Welcome back, Wildcats. One of our oldest traditions comes from our very own Harbor Choir. This tradition is not only for the students, but for the community as well. This performance comes with dinner and a show. Let's take a look. Christmas season is rapidly approaching and full of traditions. None are more prominent here at Harbor than that of Candlelight Night. A Candlelight Night is a fundraiser uh, that we started at the beginning of Harbor pretty much, and uh, it's a a night where we do a dinner theater. Um, we provide Mama Z's spaghetti and dessert. With the support of our staff, students, and parents, Harbor Choir was able to put together a wonderful night of Christmas celebration. A lot of the Camerata singers are seniors. Uh, my favorite part is at the end of the concert, they all walk out singing in the bleak mid midwinter, which is like kind of a dark and uh, quiet song about just like going through the, the middle of the winter and everything and so they kind of walk out and go into the back of the cafeteria and walk into the hallway and so that's the sound fades out and it's kind of like representative of how their senior year is almost over. What a wonderful evening filled with performances by Camerata, Lighthouse, Bel Canto, and Strata. We are proud to support our fine arts here at Harbor. For HBWN, I'm Brittany Lawson. Carrying on traditions such as the Candlelight Choir concert, what make Harbor so special? You might have missed the event, but choir is having another concert, Minus the Candles, this Thursday, December 10th. With the new advisory program, our school is also looking for ways to make new traditions. The Harbor Houses are taking a new approach to decorating Christmas trees. Here is the story. Putting up a Christmas tree and decorating it is a holiday must. But at Harbor High School, they are taking a new approach to this holiday tradition. All, of, all the houses are creating Christmas trees, and for each Christmas tree, we're going to have a different uh, uh, group that we're going to help support. And uh, for ACDC, our Christmas tree is to create and build our Christmas tree. Each advisory is going to decorate a box, and then we're going to use the boxes from each advisory to build our Christmas tree and just kind of show that the, you know, we're all together in ACDC. Students and teachers are excited to start this new holiday tradition. But just how did it get started? The student board got together and we found out about it, but our advisory is super excited because we love doing crafts and we love showing off our creativity. That's why we're in the house we're in. This activity, ACDC students are pushing their creativity and decorating a unique box. It's just exciting to, for, that we have these houses and that we can each uh, kind of demonstrate and show what each house is about by the way that we decorate and um, kind of who we choose to help support. House Christmas trees are sure to make a lasting impact in Harbor, as well as the community, all while spreading Christmas cheer. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. The trees will be in the front lobby until we leave for Christmas break. Go check them out. 
Traditions also stand strong in the Northwest Arkansas community as a whole. The lights of the Ozarks are sure to get you in the holiday spirit. Let's take a look. The weather is getting colder and Christmas time is approaching. The Fayetteville lights are up and friends and families from all around Northwest Arkansas are coming to see the Fayetteville lights. Uh, this is my second time to come to the square. It's just a nice, it's a cool thing to go see. It's something that it's there. Why not go see it? Check it out for a little bit. They just look nice. I mean, it's a good place to come and just kind of hang out. Some see this just as a place to come hang out, but others see this as a business opportunity. I just like all the watch kill the kids walk around, have fun, and all the families interacting. They all seem to have a great time. Well, oh, yeah, that means a lot to me. It's changed a lot. I graduated from high school here in Fayetteville, and the square is nothing like it was then. The building over behind us over that was the original post office. The main banks were all right up here on the square. Yeah, it's quite a big difference. For some, the square is just a part of Fayetteville. But for a few, the Fayetteville Square has a deeper meaning than just lights on trees. Um, it just means that Christmas season is here and a reason to celebrate Christ's birth. The lights are up until the beginning of January. Be sure to get out and see just how bright Northwest Arkansas can be. For HBWN, I'm Jessica Squires. The lights at the Fayetteville Square will be up until New Year's Day. Let's keep this tradition strong. That's all the time we have for this week. Don't forget to tune in to our sister station, WCSN. Remember, you can view HBWN on the Spring Hill Public Schools YouTube channel as well. We will have one more episode for HBWN before Christmas break, so be sure to tune in. For HBWN, I'm Jessica Squires. And I'm Sarah Gill. We will see you next time.